What's going on guys? Sharpshot here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So today's video, I'm going to be going over six survivor perk combos that you should not be using together in DVD. I made a video on the top six best survivor perk combos. And if you want to check that one out, there's going to be a link in the description or click the top right card right now to watch it. But in today's video, I'll be showing you the opposite where it's going to be six perk combos that you shouldn't use together because these perk combos work against each other and make the individual perks inside of the combo worse off than if you were to just use them alone and even worse in some of these combos they actually render some of the perks completely useless and unusable so with each perk combo i'm going to be listing a perk that you could swap into the combo to actually make it a good perk combo again so yeah without further ado let's get right into the video coming in at number six we have dead hard and off the record this is probably the most viable perk combo on this list but with the new endurance changes you only get value out of one endurance perk at a time Time because once you get mended you can't get the endurance status effect again and since both of these perks give the endurance status effect if you use dead hard and get a hit and you're mended and then you get hit again with off the record you're still gonna go in the dying state because that endurance status effect from off the record doesn't go on to the mended dead hard so you either got to use these interchangeably and only use them one at a time or instead swap out dead hard for any other exhaustion perk like life or balance landing so that you can get value out of off the record every single time. Coming in number five, we have Circle of Healing and Inner Healing. Both of these perks require you to find totems in order to get the healing value out of them. But the only difference being with Inner Healing, you have to destroy the totems, whereas Circle of Healing, you have to boon the totems. So if you're using both of the perks and you're trying to get value out of Inner Healing, you're eliminating an opportunity to get value out of Circle of Healing on the totem that you destroyed. So they kind of work against each other in that Inner Healing gives less value value to circle of healing and vice versa because if you boon a totem you won't be able to destroy it with inner healing so these perks don't really work well together in the sense that you will only really be able to get good value out of one of them so with that in mind i would pair small game with either one of these perks you could do small game and circle of healing or small game and inner healing to just be able to find the totems to get value out of the heal perk way better and way faster coming in number four we have distortion and object of obsession this perk combo renders distortion completely useless because every 30 seconds when your aura gets shown to the killer with object of obsession distortion will use a token to hide that aura but the problem with this is is that you only get three tokens at the start of the trial with distortion which means that after a minute and 30 seconds your distortion stacks will be completely gone and then the killer will just be able to see your aura every 30 seconds after that as if you never had distortion and every time you do gain back a distortion token it'll be gone in 30 seconds seconds when your aura gets read again with object of obsession so instead if you're gonna use object of obsession which is probably why you're running this combo i would run it with windows of opportunity so that if the killer does try and chase you which there's a bigger chance they will at least you'll be able to put on a good loop and be able to see where you need to go in a chase to get a good palette or a window coming in number three we have repressed alliance and blast mine these are two gen trap perks that you need to work on gens in order to gain access to activating them but the problem with putting both of these on a combo at a time is that repressed alliance always takes priority over blast mine meaning that if you have both active and you press the activate ability button to trap the gen it'll only use repressed alliance and block the gen completely and blast mine will just still be in your inventory you won't ever be able to get value out of blast mine and you'll only get value to repressed alliance unless you use these on different cooldowns where you use blast mine when repressed alliance is on cooldown and vice versa instead i I would use the wiretap and blast mine combo because you can activate both of these on a gen at one time coming in number two we have no mither and any healing perk this is probably the anti perk combo that everybody knows about and it's kind of like the troll perk combo but for those of you guys that didn't know with no mither you're stuck in the injured state for the entire trial so any heal perk that you run you can't actually use on yourself because you can't heal yourself so any perks like self-care for the people inner healing or circle of healing on yourself you won't be able to get value out of them because those perks require you to be able to actually heal yourself or require you to be in the healthy state like for the people so instead this is probably a troll perk combo but if you were to use no mither and want to get good value with it i would use it with dead hard because you'll still be able to get an extra hit off with dead hard if you activate it properly and you're always injured with no mither meaning that you'll be able to get 
dead hard value way more often seeing that you need to be injured with dead hard to actually use it finally coming in number one we have sprint burst and any other exhaustion perk sprint bird speed boost gets activated whenever you sprint and since every exhaustion perk shares one exhaustion cooldown meaning that for example if you're using balanced landing light and dead hard on a build and you use balanced landing you won't be able to use light and dead hard until that one shared exhaustion cooldown is back to zero that means that sprint burst will always use up that exhaustion cooldown because to get anywhere across the map you basically have to run when you're doing any action sprint burst will always trump the other exhaustion perks and render the second exhaustion perk completely useless and you can still technically get value out of this second exhaustion perk for example if you're running sprint burst and light and you stand over a vault and then you immediately fast vault it without running to the vault then you're gonna get light value instead of sprint burst value but those scenarios are never gonna happen in game because if you're in a chase you're gonna need to run away from the killer which will just activate sprint burst every time so instead swap out sprint burst for another activatable exhaustion perk so for example using life and dead hard or life and balance landing because these perks you can control when you want to get value out of them so you'll be able to pick and choose for example with life and dead hard when you want to use which exhaustion perk which will actually make you so you can use both exhaustion perks throughout the trial so yeah guys those are the six perk combos that you shouldn't use together let me know in the comments any other anti-perk combos that you've seen throughout your trials in dvd i'd be curious to hear those and maybe i'll make a part two with those anti-perk combos so yeah guys that's been the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and subscribe if you're new this has been sharp shot and i will see you guys in the next video